When to reverse insulin resistance, here are seven best foods for doing so. Insulin resistance is the very root cause of many diseases, not just type 2 diabetes or prediabetes, but also heart disease, PCOS, and fatty liver disease. So it's very important for you to reverse insulin resistance. So how do we do so? In this video, I'm going to talk about seven foods that are scientifically backed to help you improve your body's insulin sensitivity, reduce your blood sugar and to reverse insulin resistance. The first one we have here is ginger. It's been found that just two grams of ginger a day can significantly help you reduce fasting blood sugar and A1C levels in people who have type 2 diabetes. It's known for its anti-inflammatory properties, which is super helpful for people with diabetes because a lot of people with diabetes deal with inflammation. Ginger can enhance your insulin sensitivity and increase your glucose uptake in the cells. The second one is barley. Barley is fiber packed and it's rich in beta glucan. Barley has one of the lowest glycemic index amongst all grains, so you can definitely switch out white rice for barley instead. I remember when I went to Japan in the convenience store, they had this barley rice ball and on the label, it actually talked about how it can help you lower your post-meal blood sugar and lower cholesterol, which is a win-win. Studies have found that barley can help you increase insulin sensitivity by increasing gut-derived hormones that regulate blood sugars. But number three is bulgur. Bulgur is another whole grain that's low in glycemic index. The high fiber content of bulgur actually helps slow down glucose absorption and slows down digestion, which can contribute to steady blood sugar levels. Studies show that whole grains, including bulgur, can improve insulin response and lower inflammation, which both are crucial for reversing insulin resistance and reversing type 2 diabetes. Number four is radish. Radish is a great blood sugar regulator. Radishes contain bioactive compounds like glucosinolates and isothiocyanates, which have been shown to lower blood sugar levels. Obviously, it's beneficial to eat radishes in whole so that you can get the extra fiber from it as well to help you regulate your blood sugars. It has high water content and it is low in glycemic index. Research also have shown that radish extract can actually improve beta cell function and increase glucose uptake. So try to add more radishes to your food. The next one is kale. Kale is rich in antioxidants, in fiber, and in alpha lipoic acid, which is a compound that improves insulin sensitivity. Not only so, the fiber in kale can help improve your gut health and improve your blood sugar regulation. There are studies that suggest that ALA compounds, alpha lipoic acid compounds, can improve glucose uptake. And number six is tempeh. Tempeh is actually fermented soybeans. It's an excellent source of plant-based protein. It's fantastic for blood sugar control as it's low in glycemic index and high in protein. And because it's a fermented food, it is fantastic for your gut health because it's high in probiotics. It can increase your microbiome diversity, which plays a significant role in your glucose metabolism. A study found that fermented soy products can actually help improve insulin sensitivity and reduce inflammation. In people with metabolic disorders. And number seven is guava. Guava is rich in fiber and polyphenols, which can regulate glucose absorption. Guava is low in glycemic index and it's high in vitamin C and is great for supporting your overall metabolic health. And a study found that guava fruits and leaves can significantly lower your postprandial glucose in people who have type 2 diabetes. Let me know in the comments which of these foods you will add to your diet. And if you want to learn more on how you can improve your body's insulin sensitivity so that you can process more carbohydrates and still be able to lower your A1C, go watch my free reversing diabetes training. Link is in the description below and I'll see you guys there.